everyone, it's Nisha. I know I've promised you this video a long time ago, but I am doing it now. I am going to show you my Holy Grail lip glosses. So if you are interested in that, keep on watching. Okay, so what I will do, I will talk you through all those, swatch them on my hand, and then at the end, I will swatch them all on my lip. So the first one is Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fussy. I think she's come out with more colors now, and I definitely will try. I've got just that much left I can see and I will definitely be buying another one. I don't know what it is about this gloss. It's nothing special to look at, even when you swatch it, but it smells, it tastes, it feels amazing. I feel as if someone drenched my lips with cold water when I apply this. I must say that I don't get this feeling as much now, maybe because the gloss is quite old now. Um, but if this is something that you use very often, you will use it up obviously much quicker. But I have so many glosses that I love that this one has lasted me quite a long time. So this is Fussy. This is like a neutral pink, I would say, and it's quite transparent. It's very creamy. It is not, it is not um, very sticky, you know, gl all glosses are tiny bit sticky, but I'm talking about this horrible stickiness that it feels like your lips are getting glued together. You don't get that with this one. You can even see it, I don't know if you can see it well in a camera, but it sort of looks wet, it basically looks wet. The next one, and I've been banging on about this one for, I don't know, a couple of years, is the Rimmel, um, is the Rimmel Oh My Gloss in Per Glossy Cut. This one ha is a bit more opaque. It is like a muted pinky mauve. I find that I can throw it on with anything and it goes with everything. Again, very creamy. So can you see how more mauve this one is than the Fenty Beauty? It's very difficult to get the color because of the glossiness of them. But this, I just throw on my lips every single day. I can't even tell you how many I've gone through. So yeah, love, love this one. Next gloss is Nars Turkish Delight. This I've been using for years. And I don't use it on its own so much. It is quite semi-opaque, that milky, beigey pink. On its own can look a bit funny, you know, like most of the milky colored lipsticks or glosses or even uh, matte lipsticks. It sort of feels like it separates in your lines, but I use it for my classic nude lip, which would be something like Charlotte Tilbury's iconic nude lip liner, to Charlotte's um, Kim KW lipstick, and then top it off with that. There is something about it that makes the nude lip look amazing. It's like a light cool pink, I would say. It's definitely cooler than this. And this one feels quite a bit thicker as well than the other two. The next two glosses are from Too Faced. Um, I can't remember the name of them. Everything will be linked below. Um, and I have two colors, Raising the Roof. This is my third one and all the stars. All the stars I use mostly to uh, top my lipsticks off with, especially pinky ones, but this one I can wear on its own. Has enough pigment to look almost like a really, really glossy lipstick. Also, these are so multi-dimensional that gives you the most amazing shine. They, they look like they have a bit of glitter in it, but you don't really see the glitter. When you take your 
gloss off you can see a bit of glitter but it's not like grainy or anything it just gives you the most amazing shine so this is raising the roof oh it's just it's just pure gorgeousness again none of them are that horrible horrible sticky gloss like i said all gloss because they're quite thick uh, will have some stickiness to it as in your hair will probably get stuck in it but not that glue like stickiness and this is all the stars this one is like a pinky lilac just gorgeous now the next three glosses are to me they are almost like liquid lipsticks but not matte liquid lipsticks because they have so much pigment in them that you don't need any lipstick underneath so the first one is the chanel 119 I had this long time ago and I remember giving it to my sister because she loved it so much and then I forgot all about it so I not long ago repurchased that one again. This is like a mauve I don't know how to explain the colour, it's beautiful and is very 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 pigmented for a gloss. It's almost like a really creamy lipstick, but again, beautifully shiny and just full of loveliness. And the last two are from Anastasia. The first one is, I think, Vintage. Vintage. This one is beautiful. And again, you can wear it. I have to put it here. On its own so this one is very similar to the Chanel one but this one doesn't really have any sparkle in it you know like all the well these three have like a bit of that sparkle in it whereas this one it's just pure cream but it's called gloss so I included it here but look at the pigmentation of that it's still glossy but obviously not as glossy as this because these ones have those shimmer particles in them this one doesn't well it probably does but very very minute so it's more like a lipstick and the next one is called Saint Tropez I'm sure it's Saint Tropez and this one is beautiful it's like a rose gold well it's very similar to vintage but is like duochrome so it has like a rose gold in it so it's very similar to the vintage but more dimensional So it's here, the one underneath. So can you see it sort of goes pink, it goes mauve. So when I go like this, it looks a bit similar to this one. But then when I go... When I move it, you can see the screen doesn't give it justice. It's just beautiful. I have probably another 10-15 glosses but these ones are my favorites so all the other ones that I have I probably wouldn't repurchase but these I would and if I had to go for top three that I use all the time it would be these ones the Fenty, the Rimmel and the Too Faced. So these are my top three. These I've repurchased the most. So yeah, these are my three favorites for every day just to throw on.
Okay, let's do the lip swatches now. grail favorite glosses I kept doing this that was just to show you how sticky or not sticky they were but to be honest none of them are really that sticky I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous bye